Hello everyone, this is Husker Eurocat welcoming you back to Madden 19 for the PC and the New York Jets franchise. Last week saw the comeback of the Jets to beat the Packers in front of the home crowd. A big reason for the success was the leadership ability of backup quarterback Davis Webb. Driving the team down the field, the backups were able to score 13 fourth quarter points to lead the Jets to the victory. Tonight, he'll get another chance to prove himself as the Jets travel to Arlington to clash with the Dallas Cowboys. This season, the boys still have Dak Prescott calling the signals and Zeke Elliott in the backfield, but that's where the offense tends to change a bit. Tavon Austin, Noah Brown, and Amari Cooper are now gone. They still have Gallup and Hearns, but new are Terrence Williams, J.J. Nelson, and Cedric Wilson. The pass defense of the Jets should be able to make the evening difficult for Dak, and that will turn Dallas into a one-dimensional team. Since it hasn't been shared with the public how long the starters will play for Dallas, this could be get ugly fast. It's already been shared that the Jets will be using this game as a testing ground for its backup, so New York has to be ready for a big challenge this evening. Now that the teams are ready, let's get this game underway as the Cowboys take on the Jets on the Football Freaks Sports Network. Dallas starts out at the 25 yard line in the I formation. The ball is given, no, it's fake to Elliott. Prescott can't find anybody open and runs into Houston rookie Richie Radway and is held to a five yard gain. And there is a Cowboy starting offense with Ezekiel Elliott in the backfield. And as tight end starting for them is Corbin Brockermeyer out of Notre Dame, and they are very high on this kid. Now taking a look at the Jet defense. Left end, Richie Radway, which is playing a right end position. The Jets are looking to groom him into being the next big defensive end for them. Elliott takes it to the left side on second and 10 and gets a nice seven yard gain, third and three. Up the middle and he has the first down. Out the 47 yard line, Prescott throws complete to Terrence Williams and Terrence Brooks riding him out of bounds. Elliott taking again to the left side, taking it down to the 25 yard line, third and six. Prescott alone in the backfield, fires incomplete, well right of his intended target. So that brings out Dan Bailey and he puts through a 42 yard field goal. Uh, so Dallas takes the early lead three to nothing. Matt Moore is going to be your starting quarterback tonight with an overall of just 70. Definitely a decent backup, but that's about it. On a play action pass, has all day and fires off the mark. Intended for Seth Roberts, and he is way off target. This brings up the offense for the Jets, starting out with almost all backups in the game. Moore throws over the middle to Jesse James. He has the first down. Out to the 44-yard line. Back again is Moore. Throws to Crowell out of the backfield. He runs up the right side for a nine-yard pickup. Now on third and one. Moore back to pass. Throws complete to Cordero Patterson doing an acrobatic leap over the defenders and tackled inside the 40-yard line. Crowell out of the backfield again and another nine-yard pickup. Third and one this time. Crowell 
powers his way forward and is inside the 25-yard line. Now at the 20, second and eight, the give. No, it's a play action pass and Moore is sacked. Third and 16 now. The pass this time goes, oh, it's intercepted by Sean Lee. He has the ball running up the right side and finally pushed out of bounds. Tate McIntyre showing a little speed, getting over there to knock him out of bounds. But that ball was in, intended for Jesse James and Sean Lee just takes the ball away from him. That is the end of the first quarter with your score, three to nothing, Dallas. Now on second and 10, Prescott fakes the pass and gives to Elliott up the middle on a draw play and he gets the first down. Now at the 48 yard line of the Jets, Elliott again and he powers his way to another first down. Oh, they're gonna call him just shy of the sticks. Second and inches, the throw long and complete to Williams inside the 10 yard line. First and goal, Cowboys. Now all alone, Prescott in the backfield, throws to Brockermeyer. He has a touchdown. That just looked way too easy. Brockermeyer was all alone in the end zone. Nobody to cover him. And that brings your score up to 10 to nothing, Dallas. Now the Jets need to respond. Moore all day to throw and finally runs out of time. Taco Charlton making the sack. 12 yards on the tackle. So Moore throws left side to Patterson at the sticks. Are they going to give it to him? No, it's third and in inches. And Crowell powers his way over the 40-yard line for the first down from the 41. Correll takes the pitch right side and gets out to the 45. Third and four. The pass goes to James and he came back and missed the first down. Now Locke Edwards bounces the ball at the one and cannot keep it out of the end zone. So the... Cowboys start out at their 20-yard line. Elliott can't get out of the backfield, but there's a flag. Offense. It's holding on the offense. Terrence Williams is guilty of the infraction, and that drives the Cowboys back 10. First and 20, and Radway makes another tackle. As you can see there on this graphic, he, Radway is a second-round draft choice. And that is why the Jets are so hept on him becoming a great defensive end. Elliott catches the pass out of the backfield and has the first down. That brings us to the two-minute warning. With your score 10 to nothing, Cowboys. On second and 10 from the 35-yard line, Prescott back to pass, throws complete to Hearns at the 49. That gives the Cowboys another first down. Prescott throwing, and this one is complete, but it's in the backfield, and he should have probably just thrown that one away. Now throwing again over the middle to Brockermeyer. Finally tackled inside the 35. Timeout, Dallas. Third and seven now. Out of the shotgun. Prescott throws complete to J.J. Nelson, and he has the first down. Did not want to go down, and he is tackled at the 22. Uh, the shotgun again. The pass this time is complete to Williams. 
Inside the 15 and another timeout by the Cowboys. Now 16 seconds left in the half. Prescott throws complete over the middle to Elliott out of the backfield. And with two seconds left, Dan Bailey puts through the field goal and the score is 13 to nothing at halftime. The backups and rookies of the Jets are having a terrible time against these Cowboy starters and it's showing. Now let's go to Eurocat Baby for a report from the coaches. Husker, a few bumps and bruises have been the only injuries here in the first half, so there's nothing to report on there. I thought it was rather interesting that Dallas kept the starters in the game for the entire first half of play. I asked Coach Garrett about the reasoning behind that, and he simply told me that they needed to get the starters more reps in a real game scenario. He was pleased that his squad is in the lead, but was a little disappointed that the score was only 13 to zero. He would have thought that they would have done a little better than that playing against the backups for the Jets. He said that it goes to show that New York has the makings of a solid depth chart. On the other side, Coach Dale commented that his team can only work with the talent that is thrown at them and make some adjustments to try to play as well as they can. He did smile and say, that they had to do a lot of adjustments in this first half. He's looking forward though to seeing what his third stringers can accomplish against a very good Dallas team. Thank you for that report and I applaud Coach Dale's efforts but it is, is really difficult taking a look at the rookies on the roster if they can't make any headway against the starters of the Cowboys. We'll see what the second half has to bring and there now is Davis Webb at the 25-yard line. Throws complete to Seth Roberts over the middle, and he has a 12-yard pickup. Second and seven now. The handoff goes to McGuire. He's over the left side and almost to midfield. Has another first down for the Jets. Three rushes in 14 yards to start out his the second half for him. Third and 11 now. The pass hits Cheeto Uwuzie in the back and it is incomplete. So that turns the ball back over to the Dallas offense. Prescott throws, oh my goodness. And Zadarius Smith misses that interception. Oh, I bet he wishes he had that back. Prescott completes that one to J.J. Nelson. He has a 12-yard pickup. Another first down for the Dallas offense. Second and eight. And that one is complete to Williams along the right side. And another first down. Now in plus territory. The ball is given to Elliott. He goes up the middle free until he gets to the 36-yard line. First down, Dallas, and I give it to him again. And he's up the middle for another nine-yard pickup. Oh, they're going to give him a good spot. That's a first down for the Cowboys. Prescott throws, and it that one is knocked away by Terrence Brooks. That brings on Dan Bailey, and he puts through. Oh, no, there is a flag on the play. Richard Robinson runs into the kicker and they're going to give the Cowboys the ball at the 11 yard line. Elliott carries it right side inside the 10, third and five. Prescott throws complete to Brockermeyer, touchdown Dallas. So a costly mistake by Richard Robinson and it ends up being Six points for the Dallas offense. And Brockermeyer catches another one in the end zone. Dallas definitely wants to keep him healthy because he is probably going to be a very good tight end for him. Prescott. They're going for two. Throws to Brockermeyer and he gets the two-point conversion. 
which brings your score to 21 to nothing in favor of the Cowboys. Now can Davis Webb make any headway against this very stout Dallas D and leg it. He makes the completion and he is out of bounds at the 44 yard line of the Cowboys. Now that's the kind of passing that the Jets are hoping to accomplish this season. That one complete to Tomlinson inside the 30. Back to pass. Davis completes it to Corowell and makes a juke and he's inside the 20 yard line. Now in the red zone, Crowell powers his way to a first down up the middle. That brings us to the end of the third quarter with your score 21 to nothing, Dallas. And that one is incomplete. Intended for Jerron Hampton out of Northwestern. He's another one that the coaching staff is really taking a close look at. Now first and goal. The pass is complete to Hampton in the end zone. Touchdown, Jets. Hampton gets his first NFL touchdown on a little hook pattern in the end zone. So that puts the Jets on the board with seven points. And now we have Chris Dreesen coming out for the Cowboys at quarterback. Let's see if he can pick up where Prescott left off. And he completes one out of the backfield only for a two yard pickup. Now out of the shotgun, the throw is over the middle, complete. Cedric Wilson making the grab and tackled by David Bass. Scarborough takes it up the middle and he gets to the 48 yard line, second and five. Dreesen back to pass. Completes that one to Tyler Croft inside the 45 yard line for first down. Out of the shotgun again, gives to Billikiti out of Navy and uh, they have hope that he'll be a good backup for Ezekiel Elliott. And that one he can't even get out of the backfield. Third and nine, Dreesen. Scrambling in the backfield, completes it to Wilson inside the 30-yard line for first down. Villakiti again, but there's a flag on the play, a face mask. And can the Jets keep from making these mistakes? Rookie Taviuzzi Kuplin grabbing a mitt full of mask, and that has got to stop. Dreesen carrying it around the left side and he is proving to be a challenge for these Jets. And that one he throws, touchdown Dallas. He throws to a fellow rookie, Jermuria Boyle out of Cal and that brings the score to 28 to seven in favor of the Cowboys. Boyle tight roping the back of the end zone for the third passing touchdown by the Cowboys this evening. Now Davis Webb goes to work again. Throws complete to Hampton. First down at the 46 yard line. Now another pass upcoming complete. Just check down pass to Rogers and he gets seven yards. Third and three. The throw to Rodgers again inside Cowboy territory at the 43. That brings us to the two minute warning with the Cowboys on top with a huge lead at this time, 28 to seven. Webb back to pass. Throws across the middle to Hampton inside the 25. First down for the Jets. And another pass upcoming. Ew. Tomlinson can't hang on at the five-yard line. 
That was a perfect pass from Webb, and it's just Tomlinson couldn't hang on. On second and 10. The pass this time goes to Rodgers, and he's down to the one-yard line. Another perfectly thrown pass by Webb, and that brings up second down. And he, Webb gets sacked back at the eight-yard line. Third and goal. Davis throws, complete touchdown, Jets. Rodgers catches another touchdown for the Jets. And they're, he and Leggett are doing the happy dance at the goal line. And that brings your score now to 28 to 14 in favor of the Cowboys. Still a long way to go, but they're making a game of it here in the fourth quarter. Can they get this onside kick with 30 seconds left? No, Brown makes the recovery at the 42-yard line. And all Dreesen has to do is come out and take a knee, and this game will be over. The backups of the Jets did, I thought, a fair job against the starters of the Cowboys. They played them for three quarters, held them to 21 points, which I thought wasn't bad considering the caliber of players that the Cowboys were putting on the field. But they just couldn't score until the fourth quarter when the Cowboys started playing some of their scrubs. Not the game that Davis Webb had last week, that's for sure. He did lead the Jets to 14 points in the fourth quarter, but that was after a pretty rocky start in the third against the starters. As a whole, the defense had a rougher night. They had a little harder time stopping Ezekiel Elliott than I would have thought. And whether Prescott was in the game or not, the backups of the secondary got picked apart <laughs> quite a bit. I have a feeling that Dallas has found themselves a gem in rookie tight end Corbin Brockermeyer. He accounted for two of the three passing touchdowns that Dallas had, and oh yeah, the two-point conversion. And there was the downfall of the night for the Jets, I think anyway. I know this is only preseason ball, and the overall stats are only used loosely to grade a team, but the Jets had the number one pass defense heading into this game. To have the Cowboys pass all over the backfield has been just a bit unsettling, to say the least especially since the exit of a couple of Dallas big receiving threats in Tavon Austin and Amari Cooper. Uh, I would have thought that the Jets would have been able to contain that aspect of the Cowboy offense just a bit better. Rookie quarterback Chris Dreesen seemed to have a pretty good night as well, moving Dallas with some ease at times, turning to the individual stats. Quarterback Matt Moore didn't have a very good night. He only put it in the air nine times during the first half, gained 65 yards, and threw one pick. It was disappointing when that interception occurred since it looked like the Jets, who were in plus territory already, looked like they were about to score, and that could have made the game that much more competitive. If you look at the passer ratings on each quarterback, Webb had a worse completion percentage and a much better passer rating. Just goes to show that if you make your completions count, it can make a big difference. Running the ball seems to remain an issue for the Jets. Between Crowell and McGuire, they only managed to carry the ball 12 times in the entire game. New York has to find a way to incorporate the run a little bit better. One thing in the Jets' defense is that their game plan is utilizing those backs in the passing game a lot, and that is where at least Correll was able to show off a little more. He had six runs versus three receptions and seemed to handle the receiving duties quite nicely, gaining 25 yards on those three catches. The Jets may have found a solid tight end receiving threat in Richard Rodgers. 
He's having a really good preseason thus far and is far outshining Jesse James, who was signed thinking he would have a much bigger impact than what he is. In this game, rookie wide receiver Javon Hampton made his mark and scored his first NFL touchdown. A little small to get banged around in the middle of the field as a slot receiver, but the Jets are hoping this kid will be a deep threat. His speed is only adequate, but his deep route running and release skills are pretty good for a rookie. So time will tell with this one. On the defensive front, there were a couple of standouts tonight. Free safety J.J. Wilcox and strong safety Terrence Brooks headlined the tackle machine for the Jets and seemed to be a major force in this game. As for the rest of the defense, well, let's just say that I've seen much better performances. While they held the Cowboys to under 100 yards for the game on the ground, the passing game was, as was mentioned earlier, less than stellar. Hopefully they were having a bad game because if this is a permanent fixture, the depth chart of the Jets roster is going to come into play as the season goes on. The last game on the preseason schedule is traveling to Arrowhead Stadium to take on the Kansas City Chiefs. In this franchise, Kareem Hunt had a career-ending knee injury and has been replaced by Amir Abdullah out of Nebraska. I'm not sure if that is a real good upgrade or not, but at least he's a scheme fit. They do have the number two tight end in the game in Travis Kelsey, but since he will only be playing the first quarter, I don't know how much of an impact he'll be. The defense is headlined by strong safety Eric Berry, but you can't make a defense out of one elite player. But through three preseason games, they have the number nine defense in the league, so who's to say they aren't going to be good without those big names? That might be the best matchup yet since the Jets have the number 10 offense in the league. The real issue will be New York's number 28 defense trying to stop the number three offense of the Chiefs. <laughs> this could be scary, folks. That will put a wrap on this week's presentation of the New York Jets franchise on the Football Freaks Sports Network. Once again, if you enjoyed this video, leave a like and remember to subscribe and hit that bell for notifications of new videos as they come out. The Jets got outplayed by a superior team this week in Dallas. They have a chance to redeem themselves in Kansas City, but can they hold off the number three offense in the NFL? Can the backups create enough points to counteract that offensive powerhouse? Will quarterback Davis Webb be able to come back with a solid performance after taking a step back this week in Arlington? And will the passing defense be able to rise from the ashes of the field at AT&T Stadium? Until we meet in Arrowhead Stadium for game number four of the preseason against the Chiefs, for Eurocat Baby and the rest of the crew here, this is Husker Eurocat saying so long for now. And have a good day, everyone.